Today's video concerns a considerable airport on an artificial island in the ocean. This incredible project cost $21 billion to create. However, it's now facing a severe threat that could make it disappear under the water forever. Today, we'll guide you through the story of this fantastic structure. We'll talk about how it was built, its recent change to private ownership, and the urgent efforts to keep it from sinking into the sea. It all started in the late 1960s, during a tremendous economic growth in Japan. So, let's get started. Kansai International Airport is a remarkable engineering project on an artificial island in Osaka Bay, Japan. It was built in response to the region's growing need for air travel. Before its construction, existing airports were reaching their limits, and expanding them took time due to urban development. So engineers came up with a bold idea, build an entire airport on an artificial island. This idea was groundbreaking because it had never been done on such a large scale. The Japanese government and regional authorities supported the project because they saw its potential to boost the economy and make Osaka a global transportation hub. However, building an airport on an artificial island came with its challenges. One major issue was that the island started sinking due to the weight of the materials used in its construction. To tackle this problem, engineers installed a sophisticated support system, but the sinking continues to be a concern. Despite the challenges, the airport opened in 1994 and quickly gained a reputation for its innovative design and advanced facilities. It became one of the world's most iconic airports, attracting millions of travelers annually. Over the years, the airport faced various challenges, including financial pressures and extreme weather events like earthquakes and typhoons. To meet the increasing demand for air travel, the airport underwent expansions, including constructing a second artificial island. 2016, the airport was privatized to attract more investment and improve efficiency. Since then, it's been undergoing renovations and modernization efforts to remain competitive and accommodate future growth. Kansai International Airport was built to address several essential needs and challenges in the Osaka region. Firstly, the existing airports in the area were becoming overcrowded and reaching their capacity limits, making it difficult for them to handle the increasing number of travelers. Additionally, urban development around these airports made expansion nearly impossible. Secondly, there was a growing demand for air travel, both domestically within Japan and internationally. As Japan's economy grew, more people traveled for business and leisure. Therefore, there was a clear need for a modern and efficient airport that could accommodate this rising demand. Thirdly, building an airport on an artificial island presented a unique opportunity to transform the region's economy. The airport could attract more businesses, tourism, and investment, creating a significant transportation hub in Osaka Bay. This, in turn, would stimulate economic growth and create job opportunities for residents. Moreover, Japan's government and regional authorities recognized the strategic importance of having a world-class airport in Osaka. It would improve the country's connectivity within Asia and beyond and strengthen its global economic and cultural hub position. Additionally, the construction of Kansai International Airport was driven by a spirit of innovation and a desire to push the boundaries of what was possible in engineering and infrastructure development. The project represented a bold gamble that promised significant rewards for the region and the country. Despite the first island sinking more than expected, engineers felt confident they could handle it. So they began building a second terminal and runway in 2003. They adjusted their plans this time, knowing the new island would also sink. The decision to expand was necessary because tourism in Japan was growing. Tokyo's airports were very crowded, so the Ministry of Transportation wanted Kansai International Airport to become a primary gateway to Asia. They wanted travelers to choose something other than Hong Kong or South Korean airports over Kansai. The sinking of Kansai International Airport was expected, but engineers didn't anticipate how quickly and profoundly it would sink. Since opening, the airport's island has sunk 38 feet. Initially, engineers thought it would sink between 19 to 25 feet, but they miscalculated. They expected the island to settle evenly over 50 years and stabilize at least 13 feet above sea level by 2000. However, parts of the airport's first island reached 13 feet above sea level much sooner than expected. Engineers have adjusted their calculations and now predict that the airport will sink another 13 feet and reach sea level by 2056. Over $150 million has been spent strengthening and raising the seawall around the airport to prevent this. Engineers have been working on ways to stop Kansai International Airport from sinking, but all solutions are temporary. In 1999, they realized the first island had sunk more than expected, so they took action. 
They dug under the passenger terminal and placed iron plates below the hydraulic jacks and 900 comm foundation. Then they raised the comms in stages, slowing the sinking. However, this fix was costly. Although the airport won't sink into Osaka Bay soon, the sinking continues. Engineers adjust the hydraulic jacks every two years, and meters are installed on the columns to measure tilting. If the fixes fail, the airport may need to be abandoned and a new one built. In 2018, Typhoon Jebai hit the airport hard. Operations had to stop because seawater flooded the runways, reaching plane engines. To fix these problems, the joint venture will first spend over $340 million. They aim to make the site safer. They're raising protective walls and adding around 40,000 new tetrapods to break the waves around the islands. The electrical systems damaged by the typhoon are being fixed. Solar panels will be installed in the coming years to help power the airport. After that, another phase of renovation will start. The goal is to make the airport more modern. They want to increase the number of passengers it can handle and make it look better. Kansai International Airport has faced many challenges since its construction. From sinking into the sea to battling natural disasters like typhoons, the airport has had to overcome a lot. Engineers have worked hard to find solutions, like raising protective walls and installing solar panels. $500 million has been spent on changing the airport's work and appearance to make it more fancy and comfortable. The new parts of the airport were opened in December 2023. With these changes, the number of people using the airport is expected to increase from 32 million in 2019 to 40 million. This is important because many tourists will attend the World Expo in 2025. At the same time, they're making the airport safer and updating the security systems to prevent something like the Carlos Ghosn escape in 2019. Carlos Ghosn, the former CEO of Renault, left Japan from this airport by hiding in a big box on a private plane. Apart from making the airport safer and more modern, they're also making it more luxurious. They're using fancy materials like marble and built a new shopping mall that everyone who enters the airport walks through. Some big brands like Louis Vuitton and Dior have even opened their first airport stores here. Even though the ground under the airport is still moving, they have control for now. However, because of climate change, the weather is becoming more unpredictable, which could still cause problems. Despite these efforts, there's still work to be done. The airport continues to sink and the threat of climate change looms. But with ongoing renovations and modernization plans, there's hope for the future. The airport's role as a vital transportation hub is clear. It connects Japan to the world and is crucial to the region's economy. As it prepares for Osaka World Expo 2025, it can showcase its resilience and innovation. However, challenges remain. The cost of maintaining the airport is high, and there's always the risk of another disaster. But with careful planning and investment, Kansai International Airport can continue to serve as a beacon of progress. In conclusion, the story of Kansai International Airport is one of perseverance and adaptation. Despite these odds, it's remained operational and it continues to evolve. As we look to the future, it's essential to learn from its past and ensure that it remains a symbol of Japan's engineering prowess and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the story of Kansai International Airport. At Visionary Builds, we're dedicated to bringing you insightful content twice a week. Take advantage of our upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, giving us a thumbs up, and sharing with your friends. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories of innovation and progress. See you next time.